Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are playing Mexicana Deadly Holiday. Here's a graveyard, but we're gonna go back and buy. I thought we had a coin. There we go. No music? Oh no, I just got my sounds on low. There we go. We shall take a flower. Thank you. It's a daisy, even. There you go. Alright, what? A snake! I need to be careful. There's no milk in that bowl. Did anyone think to feed the snake? Perhaps a full tummy would pacify it. I saw a giant snake on a grave. However, I ignored common sense, which was telling me to run, and examined the grave. Fortunately, it's just a pet, as there's a bowl next to it. I need to find some milk and feed the poor thing. It's starving. What's this? I guess it's part of a statue. Left side of the gate. There's something in the dirt, but I can't dig it up with my bare hands. I just realized we have loads of stuff in our inventory. Alright. Mm -hmm. It's over here, red cloth. So yeah, as you can see, the cursor does not change over items you can pick up in this game. So you have to like click a lot on everything, but I have a broom handle. Yes! Look at the garden shovel. It is great. This is a scene. This is an object scene too, but in contrast to the previous scene, you need to find objects by shape. You'll need to use some of the items as well. Wind your brain! Wow, that is cool. They have different types of object scenes. I did not... Um, that I did not expect at all. I don't know where his arm is, but we shall find it. There you go, buddy. You just need an arm. It's right there. Hello. There you go. Oh, you want clothes too? You're so picky. Here we go. Really? You're gonna be... You're gonna lie in your coffin with a silver hill. Cool! Magic elixir. Awesome. All right. Uh. <laughs> what did we do? Oh, magic elixir. That's right. We're over here, and here's the place for the ritual. This is where I need to make the magic elixir. I have magic elixir, don't I? Oh, there we go. I need a bone and a jar and a daisy and stuffs. Um, candle? Garland? Magic oil? Sugar skull? No, that's for back at the, um, back at the, um, uh, sorceresses or the, um, fortune teller. Here we go. No, but sugar skull goes. No, sugar bowl. There we go. Here's where I need the magic oil. Ah, here we go. Make the dough for the pan de muerto using the ingredients shown in the recipe. So we'll start with two eggs. Looks like. Two eyes. We have sugar. Oh, you hear the music? Party music. Yeah. All right. So orange is number. Yeah, oh, 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 nutmeg. Sorry, nutmeg first. And orange. And oil. It's like green and stuff. The dough is ready, all I have left to do is bake it. And we will bake it right here. So we'll take the dough. Which is apparently at the front. 
we need fire, and we need that, and we need sprinkles. Oh, we're waiting for the bread. Okay, cool. Uh, what is that? That is not sprinkles, that is something else. Yes, I need to decorate it with a thingy first. I don't think I have that. Part day music. I don't know how much you can hear of that, but... Music is great. Part day music! Um... Oh no, 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 I have, I have, I have, I have, I have, I have, I have. Oh, come on. There we go. Hey, Mandagora! Mandrake! you in here right away. Uh, oh, here we go. Alright, hint. Hello, hint. Ah, yes, here we go. We need um, the garden shovel again. Come on. Misclicking horribly. There we go. Refrigerator handle. I have been looking for you. Here. What? They always place in the front. Oh, this inventory is so confusing. There we go. Oh, there it is. Exactly what we need. Pastry bag. Oh, and some milk. I'll take the milk, please. Thank you. And all right. So we are ready to decorate the bread. Pando muerto. Ew. I mean, yum. Candy spring calls or hundreds and thousands. This is also called. Oh, it's like like serious death bread. Holy moly! Decorated pando muerto. I managed to bake the magic bread. I never knew I could cook or do magic. Now all I have to do is make the elixir that will carry me to the other afterworld. Hold on, Vitor. I'm on my way. I almost say Victor all the time. That was the same. No, it was a new one. The Pando Muerto is done. Although it has an awful name, it looks delicious. I can hardly keep myself from taking a bite. I won't, though, since even a nibble could kill me. I better get busy making the elixir. Oh, wait, wait, I have milk. Oh, hello. I have milk for you, dear. There you go. You. Now then, need that. Oh, is it chilly here? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Make the elixir of the dead using the ingredients on the recipe. Oh, so we just do whatever, in whatever order. I mean, yeah, I think so. Oh, there it is. Ah, uh, I see. That was a. That is a. Um, mortar and pestle! But it's like a bone and a thing. And this. Whoa, hello. It's already. Now I need to pour it into the goblet. Here we go. Elixir of the dead. I can't even imagine drinking this. It's chili pepper mixed with a strange liquid that smells like tequila and gasoline. But saving Vita will be worth it. The last thing I have to do is to prepare the location where I'll be performing the ritual. I'll need paint, garland, and red cloth. Okay, I have the pan do muerto and elixir. Now I need to perform the ritual. Alright, yeah, so what's that? Okay, cool. Um, so I have garland. Other part goes somewhere over here. Garland. Oh, up there maybe. No. No. Oh, oh I need the paints first. Okay, okay, I can't do anything before I have the paints. I need honey for that. 
Oh, I see, I see, I see. Hello. Pine cones and smoker. What do you mean by smoker? Oh, one of those. Alright. Ah, we're getting hunt. Ooh, this is super cool. Alright. I get it, I get it. Matches and smoker filled with pine cones. Ah, we're combining stuff basically. Alright, where are the matches? There they are. Beehive and lit smoker. This is super cool. We're like combining stuff. Watering can and burning smoker. Um, watering can. There we go. And smoking beehive and shovel. Alright. Well, we know where the beehive is, but where is the shovel? I like this dude. He's going in his coffin with a sombrero. Like, it's crazy! Honey stick and honey pot. Empty hive and honey pot. Yeah, soak up the honey there. Wow, that was the biggest drop of honey ever. <laughs> this was so cool. Alright. So we, I now have, oops, not you, I'm in the pot of honey. Well, yeah, I'm trying to. I have honey here. Yeah, I have honey here. Yeah. Hello? Um, yeah, I have honey. Oh, over here. Sheesh. Make four different colors of paint. Each jar is marked with a color you need. Swap the jars, click the tubes of powdered paint, and add honey to create the desired paints. White. I don't want you to be white. How do I... How do I change? I don't want you to be white. I want you to have white, though. Yellow. Yeah, exactly. That was wrong. Awesome. Yellow. Okay, that was wrong. Cool. That was blue. That was wrong. Oh, light blue. Now I get it. Okay. So if you do it wrong, it's gonna... It's gonna... Be angry. Cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <coughs> what? <coughs> oh, I did. Oh, I did it completely wrong. Oh, my gosh. All right, blue was over here. All right, fine. I uh, <laughs> was uh, a little um, confused and not really paying attention to what I was looking at. I wasn't even looking at the colors. Awesome. Really, honey paint? I guess it's magic. Three. And last paint. We have paint. Now that we can paint. Mm. Instructions for painting the gate. Paint the gate in accordance to the colors on the drawing. Um Okay, so orange goes there and there. Whoops. And whoopsie daisy, I did not mean to do that. Orange also goes here and here. Alright, then we have blue teeth and eyes for everyone. 
teeth, eyes, I think this part of the eyes. Teeth, an eye and teeth. Uh, yes. We have pink. See, pink is... No, the rim of the eye here. That's pink and... Those are pink inside the mouth. And he's also pink right there and right there. And uh, this one is pink. Oh, I forgot the blue on that one. Oh well. Uh, pink. And he is pink. Like that. And then it should be green the rest of it. Oh, yeah, these are green, too. There we go. Party music. Alright, now then. Garlands. Pandumato. Uh, elixir. I don't know what to do. Uh, I see. We go like that. And then we have the garlands. And now we almost don't have anything left in our inventory. Woohoo! Here we go, flint and steel. I'll find you, Vitor! Maria, wait! What? Take this guide. It will be useful to you in the world of the dead. Oh, it's a map! Maybe? No! Ah! What? We missed a guide? Oh no, we didn't. Awesome. What happened to the bread? Peace offering? Freaky guard. <laughs> I like these. <gasps> Look at what the fortune teller gave you. This guide will help you in your journey through the afterworld. I'm so clumsy. Something, something. The guide gives useful information about the world of the dead, so find and collect all of his pages. They're scattered everywhere. Now for instructions on how to use the guide. There's not a map. This tube. Oh, it is. This tube contains a map of the afterworld. It will display new locations when you reach them. Click on the lens over the compass. Use these buttons to scroll through the other parts of the afterworld. For now, only one location is available. Uh, this button closes the map. Click on this button to see a piece of the map in detail. The submap displays locations you have visited and other information. You can use the submap to move between locations. To do so, click on the desired location. Click on the X to close the submap. Alright, so we have hidden guidebook page, action available, and available interaction zone. Wow, okay, this is awesome. The lens has moved to show a different part of the afterworld. Click on the lens to open the submap. As you progress in the new game, in the game, new areas of the afterworld will become available. You can move the lens using the arrows at the top and bottom of the tube. Whoa, that thing is cool! Stop, you must have a ticket to board this train. Your face is changing, dude. You could try to earn a ticket. There's one near the gate. Just remember, everything you do has consequences. Alright. Certain symbols should be placed here. Whoa. Whoa. Jaguar. Not the most cheery place. And no one has been here for a long time. Life left this place ages ago. Are you interested in why? A long time ago, I was told to protect a bird living within the branches of this tree. 
One day I took a nap, and when I awoke, the bird was gone. As punishment, the gods turned me into a stone statue. With no one to care for my lush garden, it withered away and turned into sand and stone. I will remain petrified until the bird returns. Maybe you can help me. We found a page from the guide. Let's see what it is. What's on it? You can move the lens. This is the first page of the guide. An exclamation point has appeared over the tab. That means the information is new. Click on the tab to learn the details. You see, I also flip through the pages of the guide. Click here to close the guide. The feather of the Quetzal is a symbol of the city of enlightenment, known as Quetzalcoatl. I like the sparkling Quetzal, whose abode is the heavens, souls who live in the city have transcended ordinary life and attained enlightenment. So. Now you know how to play, good luck, and remember, Maria and Vitor need your help! Whoa! This is so cool. These are the symbols I need, all I have to do is find them. The lock is missing a part. Oh, I do not like the looks of that puzzle. But I will. I have no items whatsoever. This is great. Oh, that was the same place. Oh, I can look here. Uh, it's a bird bath, but there's no water. Uh huh. Alright, hint. I totesy moats wants want to go here. I totesy moats want to go here. Oh, there's a lock part. There we go. Now then. Ah, uh, see here. One gulp of that weird red liquid caused something incredible to happen. Reality twisted into the shape of a funnel and started pulling me in. When the portal had nearly swallowed me. The sorceress threw a tube to me. She said it was a guide to the afterworld. I caught as I land on the other side of the portal. See if it helps. As the gate between the worlds opened, the sorceress remembered something important. To give me a guidebook to the afterworld. I wish she'd thought of that before I was halfway through the portal, as I dropped the scroll in the whirlwind. And now they're scattered everywhere. I'll just have to find them. It's the only way I won't get lost in this topsy-turvy world. No words could describe the afterworld. Small islands float in the air, breaking every physical law. There's huge buildings in the distance. Also, the tower before me appears to be a railway station of some kind. I'm sure I saw a red train spiraling up its outer wall. Perhaps that's the way to Katrina's place, where Vitor likely is. Oh, just my luck. The guard won't let me through the station gate. He says it's temporarily closed. This endless waiting on the verge of eternity is driving me crazy. The only way to leave is to get the ticket by the gate. But I need three ritual keys for opening the stand. Where are they? Oh, who knows? The golden ticket is locked in a box that requires three ritual keys. A sun figurine, an autumnal, autumn butterfly, and a quetzal feather. I know where I can get the feather, but not the other relics. Oh well. I should try just try something. Anything. As I climbed the stairs to the top island, I saw an amazing creature. A two-headed stone jaguar. And it spoke to me. It said it used to be a real jaguar, but the gods turned into stone as punishment for falling asleep and allowing someone to kidnap the local Quetzal bird. If I find the bird, the jaguar will give me one of the three ritual keys I need. When I arrived on the floating island, I saw a stone jaguar in a desert. He told me its story. It used to be a sacred animal that guarded a bird that lived on a non-withered tree. The tree was alive then. The jaguar failed to protect the bird, so the gods punished the poor thing by turning him into a statue and making his home a desert wasteland. If I find the bird, the gods will lift the jaguar's curse. Also, I found a plate which, with clues about the symbols on the niche. Right, and that is where we will take a break. And we'll be back soon for more of Mexicana Deadly Holiday. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you later.